What's up, y'all? Rangers Rays coming your way. Pre-game, 11.30. First pitch just past 12. Rubber game of this three-game set. The Rangers have gone nine straight series without dropping a series. They've won six of them. They've split three of them. They got a win today to keep that stretch alive. And remember, uh, Blake Snell is on the mound. Now, his numbers this year aren't very good. As a matter of fact, his numbers in June are atrocious. But he is the reigning AL Cy Young Award winner, and a lot of the numbers suggest he's due for an uptick. His strikeout numbers are not just the same as they've been, they're better than they've been in his career. His swing and miss rate is higher, his strikeout percentage, his strikeout per nine numbers, they're all higher. The Babbitt, that's batting average on balls in play, has skyrocketed, and that's more of a luck stat. That's kind of a demonstration that he's getting unlucky, especially because the quality of contact against Snell is no different this year than it is last year. If guys were hitting the ball harder this year than last year, it makes sense that the batting average on balls in play would go up, but they're not. Uh, so it seems like while it's probably already too late for Blake Snell to have close to as good of a year this year as he had last year, he's already given up more runs this year than he gave up all of last year. How nuts is that? But it does seem like he's due for an uptick. Hopefully that doesn't start here today. Now, I want to talk to you about Joey Gallo. We spent a lot of time discussing how Joey Gallo has had this great uh, step forward type year, multi-step forward type year. Hopefully we learned today he's an all-star. One of the big general themes surrounding Joey's improvement is his plate discipline and his ability and his willingness to better lay off pitches out of the zone. He's gone from one of the worst to one of the best in Major League Baseball. Well, I did some digging into the numbers, and I want to expand on that as to why Joey really is having the year he's having. A few days ago, I stumbled on the fact that Joey, in hitters' counts, has the best slugging percentage in Major League Baseball. Not a total surprise that he's having success in hitters' counts with the damage he's done this year, but the best slugging percentage in Major League Baseball. So then I went and I looked to see what sort of pitches Joey is seeing in those counts. And here's the thing. Joey hasn't quite gotten to the level yet where teams are just totally willing to walk him. Now, he is drawing a lot of walks. It's not like teams are unwilling to walk him, but it's, you know, it's by no means like the Aaron Judge treatment where, hey, any situation where we can give you a free pass, we're basically going to try and give you a free pass. You know, it's and it's obviously not the Barry Bond situation. Joey is doing such a good job of laying off breaking balls that aren't strikes, that pitchers in a you know in a, in a stubbornness or just strategically uh, disposition in which they're not willing to just give in and walk out or forced to throw more pitches they can control and for a lot of pitchers the pitch they can control best is the four seam fastball and Joey is seeing a much higher percentage of four seam fastballs and hitters counts this year than ever before in his career and in turn he's seen more four seam fastballs in general. Uh, regardless of count, but where it really is uh, playing itself out is with hitters counts. So Joey, it's it's a domino effect. Joey is getting more hitters counts because Joey is not swinging at bad pitches. And in those hitters counts, he's forcing pitchers who would love to pitch him backwards. A lot of pitchers these days are trying to go backwards in hitters counts to get swings and chases on bad pitches to regain balance or leverage. But Joey's not giving into that stuff. Joey is maintaining that discipline. He's seeing more fastballs. And then the most important thing, he's doing major damage against those fastballs. So there you go. Just a little bit today, the Rangers facing the Rays. It's Jesse Chavez on the mound for the Rangers, Blake Snell for the Rays. Hope you'll join us. 11.30 pregame, 12.10 first pitch, 105.3 The Fan and the Texas Rangers Radio Network.